Hello and welcome back to my channel being Rocky. I hope everyone is having a safe and wonderful day. Well, today it's my mom's birthday, so I want to say happy, happy birthday, birthday to you, ma. mom. So, mom, I want to wish you a happy, happy birthday. Lots of blessing from your son to you, even though you're not here. You're always in our heart and we will always love you, okay? So, happy birthday to you once again, Ma. Ali, want to say something to Grandma? I want to say a special happy birthday to you, Grandma. I love you very, very much. Thank you for being one of the strongest, caring, and most loving women in my life. I could not be who I am today without your guidance. So, thank you so much and I miss you and I can't wait to spend time with you. Happy birthday, mom. I want you to know that we love you very much. We miss you. And may Allah always show his choices, blessings upon you with health, happiness, and long life. And I want you to know that you're, the, you're our angel on earth. And thank you so much for all the sacrifice you've made for us. Thank you so much, mom. May Allah always bless you. Have a wonderful and happy, happy birthday. Once again, happy, happy birthday, birthday, mom. Love and you. We got some clips of some of your family to say happy birthday to you. So hope you watch this video. All right. You're going to be surprised who I got to say happy birthday to you. All right, Ma. I love you, my mother. Love you. Love you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Auntie Rafi. We love you. May Allah bless you with health, strength, wealth, and happiness. Lots of love. Assalamu alaikum, Auntie Rafi. Happy birthday. May Allah bless you and many more to come. And hi, Tonka Suka. Hello to my loving aunt, Aunt Rafi. Happy, happy birthday and many, many more to come. Allah bless you with health, strength, wealth, and happiness. You are one of the world's best aunt. We are fortunate to have an aunt like you we are blessed and we love you so much love you love you so much assalamu alaikum Rob. happy birthday may allah bless you and make you live long long more many more worthy to come Happy birthday and many, many more to come. And have a wonderful day. Asalaamu Alaikum, Auntie Rafi. I hope you, I'm wishing you a happy birthday. <laughs> hope you enjoy your day. Hope it's filled with love, happiness, and success. May Allah bless you always. Ra, this a happy birthday to you and many, many, many more to come. And I love you very, very much, Ra. You know that. I love you so much. Hey Grandma, this is Bai here. I want to wish you a very special happy birthday all the way from Florida. Hope you live to see many more wonderful birthdays. Happy birthday. Enjoy your special day. Hi, Aunt Rafi. Happy birthday. God bless. Enjoy the day. May you live to blow one to one candle. Thank you. Hi, Grandma. Just wanted to wish you a really happy birthday. Hope you have many more. Bada bada diniye aye. Bada bada diniye aye. Happy birthday to you, Aunt Yasha. From our entire family here at home in New York, our ARD family, we all want to wish you a very happy birthday from all of us here. And Muzi. <laughs> yes, happy birthday, moms. We'd like to take this opportunity. And from our family to you, wish you a very happy birthday with many more blessed years, filled with lots of love, happiness, and the best of health. We love you very much and hope to see you sometime soon. 
wishing you many, many more happy and healthy years to come, all right? And we're going to come for Chaiki. Happy birthday. Bye. Love you. So while we're saying happy birthday to my loving mother and all her family saying happy birthday to her, let me take you to my sister's Anna Kitchen who is making some awesome, awesome Trinidadian snacks or finger food. So guys, let's go to New York right into Anna's and Ricky's kitchen. Pleasant good morning everyone. Um, Aiden and I are just about to have some breakfast and today we decided to make a video for um, our friends Rocky and family, being Rocky and family. And we are starting off like it's a Trini menu finger food. So, so now, of course, I'm from Trinidad and we have a versatile um, cuisine and menu, I should say, like finger foods in Trinidad. Um, so these are some of the things I'll be doing today. We're going to be doing some pilori. Two kinds I'm going to be doing, some bhaji pilori and regular, some kachori. Sahina, the chip up one. So I have to emphasize on the word chip up because um, there's a rolled one also that we make, but I'm not going to do that one today. And we're going to do some bagani. So um, yeah, it's really going to be um, versatile with all the different types of chutneys. And we're going to do, um, I'm going to do two different types of chutneys, the blended one, mango, and I'm going to do a boiled one also. And I have tamarind, so I'll do a tamarind chutney. So meanwhile, this is our breakfast. It's more like brunch actually. So Aiden, what are we having? This is Crick's The Vital Supply with Trinidad cheese and? Coachella. Coachella? You try not Coachella? No. <laughs> okay, so um, what are you having to drink here? I'm having some Milo. Some Milo? And I'm having a cup of chai tea. All right, so I hope everyone is having a great morning thus far and please keep viewing to see further details into what we're gonna be doing. It's gonna be a fun, and tasty day. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Hello, once again, folks. So, I am going to give you guys a little preview of all of the ingredients and the condiments and stuff that I'm about to make. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek into everything that I'm doing here. And as you can see, I have everything displayed on the counter as well again with our little snack menu here. I'm doing some plain pilori, some bhaji pilori, kachori, the chip up sahina, and some baigani today. So when I am making kachori last night, I soaked some chana and I also add some dal or split peas in here because I like to give it a little more body, like for the kachori, it gives a nice crunch. So I'm gonna blend this, it has been soaking for the past, I would say um, 13 hours or so. I rinsed it out thoroughly and drained it. I'm gonna give it another rinse and take out whatever shells and stuff from the chana. And I'm gonna blend this up. I usually blend up the chana and the dal with some saif or scallions, garlic, some seasoning. I add a little more grind dal in the mixture when I'm mixing it up. We have onions and pepper here and we have bandania. So all of that is a mas and kachori and um, with all of these ingredients blended with this then you add your flour and a little soft fran or turmeric. You add a little baking powder. You can use yeast also and um, the pepper again it, it seems a lot but all of these condiments I am using to make Everything including the chutneys and the, the mango chutney. I'm doing two different kind of chutneys. I'm doing a mango chutney, which will be blended. And I'm doing one that's going to be boiled. And I'm doing a tamarind also that's going to be boiled. So again, I have garlic. I have mango, green mango. Some blended seasoning, which consists of parsley, sive, garlic, some ginger, and uh, parsley. I have some uh, grind dal here scallions, garlic. I have two baigan, which I'm going to do um, for the baigani. 
I have a piece of red onion, I have a yellow onion, and I have a lot of pepper. I'm not going to use all of this pepper in one dish because I am displaying everything here for all of the other things, including the chutneys and stuff. I have bandanier, which I washed and cut up here, and I have some nice dashing bush leaf, which we got this morning, washed and all cleaned here. I am going to go and start chipping up everything and preparing everything and I'll show you guys how the batters for all of the other things um, ex excluding the bagani for now is going to come together because I'm going to prep the bagani last and I'll do another video and show you guys how it's coming along. Okay guys so please stay tuned. Hello again everyone. Okay, so this is one of the condiments, one of the chutneys I made here. This is the blended mango, the green mango. And it was very um, young, the mango, very green and young. So I added into this chutney, there's pepper, garlic, scallions or sive, um, bandania, and some salt. And here I have the tamron that's boiling with cinnamon and garlic, pepper. And to this I'm gonna add sugar because it is very tart. It's the sour tamarind I'm boiling here. So I'm gonna introduce and cook down more and I'm gonna add some sugar into this one. And over here I have the mango, the green mango. I'm making the boiled chutney, again, consisting of garlic, pepper, bandania, and some salt. So that's going to reduce also and uh, I'll show you guys the finished product and over here so this is the polori mix which has risen quite nicely already and this is the baji polori which has risen also so it's more or less the same batter but this one has the chip up the baji in it and to the back here is the sahina mix and over here is the kachori mix and I have the baigan that's prepped already and I'm going to do the batter on this and fry this also. So, so far we're in good shape and I'll keep you guys posted with the finished and ending product, okay? Okay folks, as we proceed with our Sunday's menu, the first thing Chef Anna is going to start with is her baji polori. Yeah, so you can see how nice the batter rolls and I'm about to start frying. So this is a little trick guys. I learned this on the Food Network from uh, Marianne Grasby. When you want to know the oil, like when it's hot, especially like with things like polori and when you're making like sahina and these things, you can't have it on too much of hot heat. So you put, look at this trick, and when you see the little bubbles, on the wooden spoon, you know that the oil is hot. Mm, interesting. Yeah, I had never known that, but... Okay, so I'm gonna depose this mixture my hand again, and we're gonna go in now. I don't use oil or water or anything to, I just squeeze, use the squeezing method. I learned this way from my mom. So I heard you once also said it's very important when it comes to the uh, temperature of the oil. Well, that's what I just checked. When you, you have to check. If it's too cold, it's no good. And if it's too hot, it'll get very brown and it'll be raw inside. It will not cook. So, yeah. That's what I just checked with the spoon. Seems to be very good. I have the heat on medium. It's fluffing up already. Yeah. So yes, folks, this is the baji polori. I learned to squeeze it through my fingers like my mom. Do you know any of the techniques that you could do? Other than you can use a spoon like my sister Suzanne. She said she can do the one like this. And she's a very good cook also, but um, she uses a spoon. Okay. But I learned this way from Deed. Like making it like this. So you think with that batter you'd have there be enough to fill this uh, 
Not with, no, I'm gonna make the regular Kalori and the Baji one will probably like fill up that and then I have another tray to do like the second one. Okay. So I'm lowering it a little bit. All right, we're gonna show you guys this finished product the moment she gets Shortly, it. Shortly, yes. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, as we proceed, we're going to head out now to the, what's this, the plain pilori, right? The regular one? These are the plain pilori. Yes, I'm going to start trying this now. First and, batch uh, is done. Yeah, so guys, um, take a look at this. So, it's not too oily. It's cooked thoroughly. And again, we have all the condiments there, but I'm just breaking one to show. It's very soft, totally cooked inside. Tastes delicious. I'm leaving out there for you now. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we just we just tried these and everything was like that one is really spicy. The, I like the, yeah. this. That's mine. Mm -hmm. Tambrin and uh, you got the, the boiled mango. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm gonna go in now to do the regular pilori. I'm gonna depoof this again. And it's the same mixture, guys. I just added for the baji when I just added some dashing bush baji, the leaf in there. You don't want a pilori? Sure. Take a try. I mean, the hard one. I don't know how it tastes. That's how they cook it. <laughs> it tastes very good, mommy. Mm -hmm. you know, there's one more thing you could depoof later on. Go <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay, So these are going to take basically the same time? Well, the same time, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Again, you um, want to keep the heat like on a low to like medium because you don't want it to get very brown outside and then it's going to be very raw inside. So that's why I just broke one to show. Um, yeah, what I, what I really do like about these is that, uh, one sec, let me grab tissue here sorry is that you can try a little experiment and you know see this it's not too oily not oily at all that's really good yeah it's not too oily so you're on the right track here i was told by the best yes yes that i know all right so we're going to continue frying these out and then we're going to add them here with these bad boys and we'll be heading. And then next, we're going to do, um, I think I'll do the second one next. Okay, that's interesting. All right, so All right. keep watching, guys. All right, we're on to the next step, which we'll be making here is the, uh, what do you call it again? Mm -hmm. What do you call it? Kachauri. No, it's not. Oh, it's Sahina. 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 Oh, sorry. So now, for this one, guys, I'm using a little oil. The batter it had risen a lot also on it i depoofed it so this is not squeezing it's more like flattening out so you gotta put some more work into this one huh? yes there's a little more of the work and you put it down into the oil It doesn't stick too much on my hands with the sticky batter. That one came out a little bigger. You could make it a little smaller. You can make it a little bigger. And these you're gonna have to flip, right? Yeah, yeah. Use me flip. All right. So the two sets of calori is done and sitting there cooling. We have uh, tray awaits these uh, sahina. The sahina. And this is a chip up one. Now there's a different kind that you can make also the roll ones. Um, that's a little more time consuming. When you mix the yeah. batter into the leaf, you spread out the leaf and you... I had those before. Right. I, I, I like those too, but I, I, I prefer these too. Um, a second. I don't know. Put it 
fluffing up. Yeah, these gotta be, um, again, it's not like the pylori to the tree your hands. And I, um, I mix this batter with yeast. It's been sitting there for at least a couple hours. So, you know, the longer it sits, it rises. The rising agent works more like in it, so. What's the other one that's called acra? So acra is something made with saltfish. You could do it with saltfish. Can you put saltfish in this? Batter? You can put it in anything you want, but this is the traditional thing that we do in the, the sahina, so I'm not going to put saltfish. If you want acra, I can make you acra next day. Okay. You want to turn it to me? You could turn it there. Yeah, turn like this way. The big one over there. Mm -hmm. This could be a disaster. <laughs> is that one? Okay, that's it. That's it. Okay. okay. All right, so we'll keep you guys again updated with the ending results to these. All right. Okay, so it's time to see what this baby looks like. What do you call this, Nasad? Sahina. Wow. Sahina. Sahina. Yeah, so you see, well. it's, it's, yeah, it's cooked thoroughly through. And these here are frying up now. They seem a bit puffy, but that's again because the dough sat for a little while. But once it cools down, it gets back its shape. So it's supposed to be bigger anyway. And yeah, you know, we have like the condiments and stuff here. Let's give it a taste. Take some tamarind. Really good. All right. How can life get better than this? this. <laughs> mm. It's really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Wonderful. So in the midst of making our tasty finger food today, of course I have to make some dessert for the kids. So Aiden and Ricky requested my orange pound cake so I am whipping and doing everything here now this is the butter and sugar that was creamed already added in the eggs and this is all my dry ingredients here and I use orange in my cake the zest and the orange juice and Alana requested brownies so that's store-bought of course I'm gonna just whip that up afterwards and put those things in the oven and I shall show you guys the finished product of these two delicious desserts. All right, folks, we're on to our fourth dish of finger foods here today. And is kitchen doing some whipping up of the sahina. We have the polori and the, what was the first one? Then? We have two kind of polori now. So oh yeah, the bhaji polori, polori, polori and the regular polori. We have regular polori. We have sahina over there. Right. And now we have kachori. Kachori. And we have some bhaigani will be the last thing I'm going to be making. But I must say those are one of my favorites. The bhaigani. So the bargain also, I'm gonna, why I kept back that to do last, I'm keeping some of this, the kachori mix with the chickpeas to put on the bargain. So well, like when you bite it, it'll have like a more crunchy taste yeah, to it. That's, that's what I like about these as well. These are very crunchy, yeah, so not oily of course. No, it's not, um, it has a little, I had put a little grinder like in that back also. Yes. So kachori is with the fresh chana, the chickpeas that I blend it up with all of the aromatics and stuff and so these this has a crunch to it. This the, the frying time for this is the same as when you fry these other stuff? It's it's well yes. Since it's a like thicker the batter. It's yeah, this yeah. Okay. The batter is blended like really kinda smooth but it still has like it'll have like a little crunch to it still. Okay. So I use oil like for this because the batter is sitting when it's set, it has been sitting for a while, it gets very soft. So I'll have to know put the oil in my hand to let it drop. 
That's kind of yeah. risky also. Yeah, it is, because my hands were very close to the arm. Well, like, if you had to do this, a finger would be off already. <laughs> Frying. <laughs> we literally be having <laughs> finger food. Uh -huh. Get it? <laughs> Sherry, you hear what this woman is saying to me? <laughs> well, we also learned today of a trick with the dog, Gotney. You could swizzle here, check the other temperature here, and an occasion of a whack if you're not listening. Rock, you may know of the backing of Yana. Grandma, Grandpa got their hands on this thing. Too lush. All right. So yeah, this, this, this is the bad boy coming up next. Can't wait to see the process of this and then dive into one. But um, yeah, let's um, just grab your from here, please. Just grab one side. We just ripped one of these before in Let's the first video. Just tell me you're hungry now. Mm -hmm. right there. Top of it there. All right. See you guys in a few. All right, folks. We're down to our last and final dish tonight. One of my favorites. Why didn't he? Look at those. We did one batch before. Take my, my sister show you what's up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. I love a bike in So you see these things, I don't know how these uh, roti shop does this. So time consuming as I would say. A lot of work, a lot of work to get these things done. So then the um, these bike in here, how long you take to put your foot to the other side, give or take? Um, well, I'm using the same batter that I did for the kachori, which will, again, you see like how it has like a crispy effect to it? Yeah. So it'll have a crunch to it. Um, I would say like two minutes, like on each side. Two minutes, okay. Two minutes first to like get color because I have done a medium heat. I don't want it to get too brown. Mm -hmm. I did not cut the bike too thick also. So. That looks thick to me. But I'm not complaining because I love that. You better not before you don't get any. Yeah, man. So, you know, folks, for all the Rockies viewers who would watch this video, a lot of respect due to all the cooks out here and all these uh, shops and work, establishments. It's, uh, it's, yeah, time consuming. My, my. Yeah, a lot. So, your next video, can we venture off and do some alu pie? Yes. Good. We're going to do some alu pie. Maybe we'll train my mother's um, chicken pie. Mm. It's a wonderful chicken pie. And I, I, right after, I'm going to make some Guyanese dishes for you. Okay. You know what that would be? Some nice home style fried egg. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so uh, we also been doing some whipping up stuff here for the kids as well. Look at that. So that's an orange sponge cake. My boys like orange sponge cake, so that's what we did. That's good. And I got some brownies, which I have to put together for the most on a platter. All right, so we'll be coming back to you shortly with the tasting and uh, prepping of these uh, goodies. Ready? All right, folks, it's sampling time. It's football Sunday here in New York, so. What other way to finish up the day with a platter like this? So today, Anne went on a full Trini venture. As you could see our um, menu board, everything displayed here well. I've been sampling these bad boys right through as she was making them. And I gotta tell you, everything really truly does taste awesome there. But um, let me be honest. I've been talking about this by Guinea all day. It is my favorite, but I gotta tell you, I'm going for the kachari today. This you like the kachari? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. It's crunchy. You get that spit peas. Uh... Well, it's made with the chana and mm -hmm. the dal, so that's what, but the bagani also, I, I yeah. fried this, the batter is what I used there. So again, guys, this is the regular polori, baji polori. We have some chip up sahina here. We have baigani and we have some kachori here. Mm -hmm. And I made the blend, the green one to the 
left is the is the blended mango that's tambran chutney i boil and the boiled mango chutney and the kids wanted brownies alana stole that piece right over there <laughs> and um yeah and a cake so this is my all day right now it is 650 and i just finished up in the kitchen yeah this process took quite a while it took a long time so and you know one thing i'd like to say kudos to all as ricky mentioned before kudos to all of the cooks being rocky cooking with ash um vlad you know hook and, and rick they you, you guys have to you, you know as as fellow um viewers and stuff and you have to give credit where it's due because it's a lot of work in the kitchen and everyone's trying so you know uh be nice and and it doesn't it doesn't take anything and it doesn't it doesn't take anything to be to be nice it doesn't cost anything but you kind of don't forget my boy danny and danny of course yes miss lynch and all those who are in the kitchen like Anne says there they have been some re uh, reviews on these cook shows that these folks take their time and do and some people just has the most horrible thing to say. Yes, you can say, but you know, there should be a limit of what you say. You don't like the, you don't like what they showcase. You don't like what they cook. Hey, turn, you know, turn the phone off and just look at somebody else's program. Because honestly, if I was the one to make this and had a bad comment, I literally might cry because I'm not as a tough as Anna. Let's just embrace this uh, thing with, um, the time that it takes and, and, and the, the hours it, it, it probably would take many of you cooks to do, put these things out there and kudos to you and thank you Anne for making such a wonderful meal for here. Yeah, for you're, you're welcome. And again, as I said, um, thank you very much to Bean Rocky, his beautiful wife, Sherry, and all of our friends and YouTubers, fellow YouTubers. Again, as I said, kudos, um, to the great job everyone's doing because it's a lot it's a lot i'm not a professional cook i enjoy cooking i come from a family that cooks and my husband likes to eat he enjoys eating so um yeah we you know you have to support everyone you have to like support everyone in his own way because we are all unique people and we cook in different ways as we always say Ms. so Lynch would always say that everyone cooks differently so respect yeah danny says tips. that also yeah. and um yeah so again thank Good you stuff. for joining us today with our little video and all of the goodies here i hope everyone enjoyed and see you with the next video take uh, care guys I'm fine shrimp. <laughs> take care guys All right, so meanwhile, we're enjoying mom's birthday, and mom, you're enjoying your birthday, and we will be celebrating your birthday all year long. And once again, I wanna thank you for all the support you have given us, me and my family. Thank you for loving us. And like the wifey says, mom, you are, a, you are our angel on earth, and thank you for making me the loving man that I am today. Thank you, mom. Thank you, mom. All right. So guys, I hope you enjoy the little clip my sister Anna and her family put together for you guys. I hope you try some of her recipe. Anna, I'm coming to New York. One of these days, when you hear a knock on your door, that's me showing up and we making those snacks. Once again, to all our viewers and all our subscribers, we thank you guys from the bottom of our heart. Thank you for all the love, all the support. I can't say that enough, how much the support mean to us. Without you guys, it wouldn't have been us. All right, and once again, we love you guys so much. Thanks again. And if you haven't, please like and subscribe.